that down, pull it in. Clean this up. You notice my webbing is a blue bag and I popped that one. I was gonna change it over, but it seems to be doing just fine. Except for when the shad hit in it. nuts sometimes the boats will come up well not now but I have some buddies that are on boats and they'll swing by I'll give them a holler and tell them I got shad and then I'll just give them to them and they use them for sturgeon bait not that crazy the sturgeon just will swallow one of these one time I was one time I was a uh, I was cutting cutting a sturgeon open and I seen a shad in there, a full shad. It's like holy cow. The thing about this wind, it pulls your net everywhere. Every little Not on the outside. Outside on the neck. In the hoop. This one, I'm gonna have to pull. I'll probably have to pop my neck on this one. It's nice to be down here behind this wall with that wind, but at the same time, it sucks. Just be nice if the wind is, especially in the night, you can't see what you're doing. Suck guy. Here we go. And this is, I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to do this. I must have walked up and down this thing. I would say at least 10 times. Not breathing that heavy, so. Still, workout. Now as we come down to here, got a couple more scaffolds tucked away. Whew, thinking back, I am breathing pretty hard. So workout. And what I'll do, I'll just leave my fish down here. These two, I was, I don't even know, last night I, I, I got so busy doing others trying to fix the net and I didn't even put them out. So then I was like, oh, I gotta check these nets. And then I was walking down and I was like, I don't remember. Dude, look at that. See that big rock? Looks like it's gonna go. And uh, I got down here and I was like, wait a second, they're not even out. So I got down here and they weren't even out. I was like, ah, I skipped over them. So about to be about 11 o'clock is when I noticed that. I didn't even have these out. So busy running around with the other ones. So wasn't too proud of myself on that moment. This is a hole right here too. I don't see any color though.
they kind of come out a little further. I don't think I'm out far enough on these ones, so I might have to redo this. That's just my theory right now. No color, not even shad. I don't think I'm far enough out there. Can I think of it? No color. Gotta take those nails and trim them up. Nets just love getting hooked up on those. Yeah, I don't think I'm out far enough. This one, this one's the same. I don't think it's out far enough, but I've been just hanging out. I don't see color on this one. Either. Might have to build an extension out along this. Put go along here and build one out, and then I think if I can get out there in that scud line right there, that's where they. That's where I should be getting. But here I'm just too shallow. Or not shallow, but it's like too close to the shore and my, my reaches aren't out there far enough. That's what I'm assuming because nothing was in either one of these. Even though they were set out late. all that stuff too early in the morning just tie it all off and leave my nets to dry off there's the gravel pits over there okay that's five five down there's four more to go Back on this hill. That'd be really good status. Climb up and down these. Work out. That's why I don't take those fish down there. That one out of all of them is the worst one to go down to. It's the steepest and scariest. Then you have the bats that sit up there on that wall. Or the trains go by, these rocks start falling down. Not just little rocks either, big rocks. Come tumbling down there. First, it's hard to get used to when you're sleeping and hear these big rocks tumbling down. It's so windy today. 